I've raised millions for conservation, but it still wasn't saving enough wildlife. And I've realized it's, it's the laws of land that are the problem. Every time we try to save wildlife on land, the, the people who own land can charge more for it. If we try to buy nature reserves, or if we try to get government control on land, landowners always seem to win. They can't seem to lose financially in the system. So you're saying that landowners are cashing in on the current awareness that we are extinguishing whole species on this planet. Landowners aren't silly. They know what's happening in, our, in the conservation environment. I might have five million pounds to buy some land, but all that means is the nature reserve is going to cost 20 times as much. So the price just keeps on going up and up and up, no matter how much money we raise. What is the alternative? The journey of discovery I've gone on is to try and understand economics. And this is where I started discovering the ideas of taxing land instead of taxing people's income. Because if land isn't taxed, people can own it without any obligation to the rest of society. That's the problem. We need obligations on landowners just as we have all got obligations to treat other people well, so landowners have obligations to look after wildlife on their land. The system currently says that the more people I employ, the more employment taxes I pay. There's no shortage of work on the farm, but the in inhibitory effect of the tax system means that as soon as I employ somebody, we have to pay the government because we've done that. We own about 640 acres of farmland that must be worth about three million pounds on the open market, but we would be prepared to pay an annual rent on every acre of that land, provided the government would get rid of all the harmful taxes like income tax and VAT. A lot of people think that the charging a rent on land for everybody would mean that we would destroy, destroy our, our green belt and our wilderness. But this is the very opposite of what I think will happen because wilderness areas will become of value. The green lands, the, the wild lands are the cheapest land and so developers are trying everything to exploit this land. We're destroying wild land. This will change completely with a, a rental charge on land, and we will actually start valuing wild land. It will have an inherent benefit, and as soon as you can build a house on that land, it will then become an expensive piece of land to own, so people will stop trying to exploit our wilderness areas, and we'll save our green places for our future generations.